When we think of inventions, we often think big revolutionary changes like an e-vehicle or satellites. But the little things that have made our lives simpler are taken for granted. The people who made stuff like band-aids and coolers are inventors too. Here are 10 low-key inventors of everyday things you should know about. 1. Whitcomb Judson, the zipper. The little metallic device that helps you hold your jeans together took over 20 years to become mainstream. Chicago inventor Whitcomb Judson came up with the first design of the modern zipper in the 1890s. Judson's zipper, called a class blocker back then, was initially meant to reduce the trouble of the elaborate lacing in boots. Yet, a flaw with its hooks led to its failure. After Judson's death in 1909, a Swedish-American engineer, Gideon Sundback, improved upon the invention four years later. The U.S. Navy's usage of the zipper in its World War I flying suits popularized it, and the fashion industry adopted it by the mid-1930s. 2. Willis Carrier, the modern air conditioner. The father of modern air conditioning, Willis Haviland Carrier, solved one of the most complex problems of his time, controlling indoor temperature. At the age of 25, while standing at the Pittsburgh train platform on a foggy morning, the answer just came to him. Taking inspiration from the fog around him, Carrier realized that if he could saturate air and control moisture levels, then pass it through a fine spray of water, he could manipulate its temperature. By 1903, he had created the foundation for the modern air conditioner, and by 1915, he set up the Carrier Engineering Corporation to take the device public. 3. Ajay Bhatt, the USB Indian-born Ajay Bhatt changed the data-sharing game of the world with his invention of the Universal Serial Bus, aka USB. In 1995, the tech innovator who was with Intel at the time led a team of engineers who did away with the clunky wires and disks initially required for data transfer between digital devices. Surprisingly, Bot didn't make much money out of his invention because Intel owns all rights to it. He did it to bring about a change, he told Business Insider. The inventor had also wanted the USB to be a fully reversible connector but cost constraints put a lid on that idea. In hindsight, Bot said it was a bad decision, and they blew it by not addressing that important pain point. 4. Laszlo Biro, the modern ballpoint pen. Perhaps fittingly, the inventor of the first commercially viable ballpoint pen was a journalist by the name of Laszlo Biro. Although fountain pens were ubiquitous until the 1940s, they had their pitfalls. Biro noticed that newspaper ink did not smudge, lasting longer than fountain pen ink, and thus, the ballpoint with a nib was born. He partnered with his brother, who was a chemist, to come up with the prototype and patented it in 1938 in Paris. Although American inventor John L. Loud had the first known patent for a ballpoint pen in 1888, it never took off commercially, and the patent eventually expired. In 1953, Biro sold his patent to Marcel Bick for $2 million. 5. George de Mistral, Velcro Another novel invention that helped the clothing industry was developed by Swiss-born George de Mistral who came up with a hook and loop fastener that became a middle ground for buttons and zippers. While on a hunting trip with his dog in the Alps, Mistral noticed that burrs from a burdock plant covered his pants and his Irish pointer's fur. He took the burrs back with him. Examining them under a microscope, Mistral eventually found a way to duplicate this hooking system in a synthetic fabric. He christened it Velcro a portmanteau of two French words for velvet and crochet. While he patented the design in 1955, it didn't take off until the 60s when NASA adopted Velcro for its spacesuits. The scuba diving industry, and eventually the fashion industry, followed suit. 6. James Goodfellow, ATM Pin Numbers the little personal secret number that we all keep hush-hush, since it is the key to our money in the modern day, is widely credited to James Goodfellow. 
the Scottish inventor patented the personal identification number, or PIN, back in May 1966 in London. The credit for the invention of the automated teller machine, where pins were first used, is a little more complicated. While another Scot, John Shepard Barron, has gone down in history as the inventor of cash machines, Goodfellow's ATM and PIN model missed the mark by a month and it is closer to the system we use today than Shepard Barron's. Although Goodfellow does not own the inventorship title for ATMs, he is most definitely touted to be the inventor of pins and has a place in the Scottish Engineering Hall of Fame. 7. Earl Dixon, The Band-Aid A newlywed's concern for his wife led to the creation of one of the most essential products in all first aid kits, the Band-Aid. In 1920, Josephine Dixon, who was married to Johnson & Johnson employee Earl Dixon, was prone to frequent cuts and burns while tending to household chores. Since adhesive wound dressers had not been invented back then, the new bride had no way of taking care of it herself. Instead of patching her up every night, Earl came up with an adhesive strip with a patch of cotton in between to solve the problem. Earl Dixon shared this with his boss at Johnson & Johnson, and voila, the Band-Aid was born. Initially, they were sold in rolls until the finger-sized strips became the norm from 1924. 8. Joseph Gaetti, Toilet Paper Humans are inventive. Until 1857, when Joseph Gaetti began selling the equivalent of today's modern toilet paper rolls, people used anything from newspapers and frayed rope to moss and even rocks to clean themselves. Although paper had widely been used for the purpose since the 2nd century BCE, Gaetti entered the game with claims that ink from newspapers could be toxic and cause hemorrhoids. In December 1857, he marketed his invention, infused with aloe, as an anti-hemorrhoid medical alternative to newspapers. The initial batches were sold as sheets and were a luxury product. They sold for about a dollar per 1,000 sheets. It was three decades later before they were sold in rolls. 9. Christopher Latham Shoals, QWERTY Keyboard The contemporary keyboard design, QWERTY, used across all keyboards in laptops and computers, was first put to use in typewriters. American newspaper publisher and politician Christopher Latham Scholes came up with it. After inventing the typewriter with a group of his friends, Scholes noticed that the metal in the keys would jam if punched consecutively. To solve this problem, he came up with a number of combinations, eventually settling for the layout we use most commonly today, except for some minor differences. 10. Lupe Hernandez hand sanitizers. One among the simple yet revolutionary discoveries in medical science, hand sanitizers changed the lives of many doctors and nurses. A Californian Latino nurse, Lupe Hernandez, came up with the idea of hand sanitizers in 1966. As a nursing student, Hernandez realized that in the absence of water and soap, gel-based alcohol could kill germs and solve the hygiene problem. She immediately called an invention's hotline number to patent the idea. At first, it was used only in hospital settings until it became a commercial success in the 80s. Hernandez's invention is saving lives even now and is a central player in the current novel coronavirus outbreak. Which other underrated inventor would you like to bring to the world's notice? Tell us in the comments! If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more unbelievable facts, please be sure to follow us.